This is the stencil that he would actually put on the ball, use a rag, and then go like this, pat it down. With her family gathered around the kitchen table, Danielle Vendetti heard a grade school teacher in South Jersey is reminiscing about the Kelly Green Eagles era. Well, my dad wore this up until he died. Her late father, Joe Vendetti, an artist by trade, was recruited by the Philadelphia Eagles in 1979. How did your dad get involved with the Eagles in the first place? So he had a place called the Sign Shack on Argon Avenue. And um, uh, one of the coaches from Dick Vermeil, his name was Bow Wow, he came in and he asked my dad, hey, uh, you interested in doing um, some work for the Eagles? Joe was kind of that underdog Cinderella story where, you know, he was this regular South Philly guy who had a sign shop and all of a sudden the Philadelphia Eagles walk in, recognize his talent and say, hey, come do this for us. He hand painted game balls, Eagles signage, you name it. And then came along perhaps his biggest assignment of the Kelly Green era. So you need to go all the way to the pen. That's it, yep. Mm -hmm. He designed and painted the logo of the eagle clasping a football that graced the field of Veteran Stadium. It's the actual stencil that my dad made for the 50-yard line um, for the Eagles games. Everything was hand-painted. Even the field was hand-painted. They don't do that today. If you're wondering, I am not the first NBC10 reporter to do a story on Joe Vendetti. Way back in the day, NBC10 did a feature on his artwork and what it meant to the team. You just had to be driving by is what I could think of, and I was there at the time, the right place at the right time. NBC10 cameras captured Joe and his craft, the skill of painting pigskins on full display. Even Dick Vermeil made an appearance in the report. As a real person. He's a friend of mine and he does me a lot of favors and he's our official painting coach. He paints all our signs and footballs and uh, he's part of our organization. He really was truly part of the team and he felt that way because they gave him a conference ring uh, when they beat Dallas back in 1980 and it has his name on it, Joe Vendetti. As the Eagles get ready to bring back the Kelly Green jerseys for two home games this season, Danielle has one wish she thinks her dad would have loved to see fulfilled. Fans just want it so bad and like I feel that too with them when I see them on TV and everybody's going crazy over this Kelly Green and the logo of the Eagle. I just thought, wow, wouldn't it be great if they could use my dad's stencil, put it at the 50-yard line for those two games? I think that's a fantastic idea. I think there's a lot of fans out there that would like to see that old-school eagle back out there in the Kelly Green uniforms on the field. Now that's authentic. That's like a really going back into time. A time Eagles fans remember fondly, and so does Danielle. I know he was proud of this. He really was. And I was proud of him for it, too. There she is. I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC10 News. How awesome is that? I know. Take it all the way back. Yes. Yes. The Kelly Green means so much to so many people all on a different level mm -hmm. and memories like that. The artistry, right? Yeah. And it's a good look to boot, right? It Kelly is a Green. really Gotta good look. It. We love it.